Greetings to the leadership and members of the True Life Apostolic Church of Columbia, Missouri. Thank you, Brother James, for granting us this opportunity of participating in this great project. 17 years of our 63 years of full-time ministry were spent pastoring the church here in Columbia. My wife and I agree that those 17 years were some of the happiest years of our ministry. We realized that contributing most of that happiness was the wonderful members of 211 Benton. What we were able to accomplish was made possible only by God and your faithfulness. Thank you from the depths of our hearts. I suppose one of the most humorous things that happened with us and the Columbia Church occurred in a revival here before we came to pastor. In a message, I was stressing the importance of the boiling point relative to revival. Reminding the church that at the boiling point of 212 degrees, water begins to change from a liquid to a vapor. And at that point, it will cook food and even drive steam engines. So I said, not knowing the address of the church, you can never have a revival at 211. Of course, I was talking about water temperature and not the address of the church. Well, in spite of my ignorance, we did have a revival during that time for Lance Appleton prayed back through on a Sunday morning. Sometime later, we came to Columbia and assumed the responsibility of the pastorate, and we enjoyed a wonderful spirit of unity and growth. If I am recalling correctly, the Columbia Church has had seven pastors, we were the fifth. In Bible numerology, five is the number of grace. We tried to be a pastor who promoted grace. Law is good and necessary, but even Jesus thought that grace was better than law on which to build his church. Pastor James is the seventh pastor. In Bible numerology, seven is the number of perfection and completeness. We trust that Columbia has their last pastor the leader who will be pastoring when Jesus returns. A choir does not always sing the same notes. They harmonize with some singing soprano, some singing alto, some singing tenor, and some singing bass. A choir's purpose, though, is the same, but the performance of the music depends on the ranges of their voices. Each pastor, hopefully, has contributed to the 211 choir so that God has heard a harmonious composition. Although you are meeting today to launch a fundraising program to relocate, I am thankful for the relocation that has already taken place in your lives. Your old address was the world, but you have relocated to a higher area where your new address is now the church. We trust that phase two of your relocation will be successful, and we will be praying to that end. But there is the third and final stage of your relocation that I trust you are more interested in, and that is the relocation that will establish your address as the new Jerusalem. What little we were able to accomplish here was only possible because of the faithful contributions to God's work of the pastors before us. We trust that our little bit helped to strengthen the foundation on which you will continue to grow and build. We pray for the growth of what is now true life apostolic. May God give you the property and facility that will adequately accommodate the expansion that you anticipate. God bless you. We love you.